Hey guys, Rick Shaw here. It's the uh, 21st of November, 2020, and uh, had a little bit of good news today. Uh, I was talking to my wife about a air fryer, and and uh, she said no, she's going to stop frying everything in oil, and she's going to go to uh, grilled. So I was looking online. I found a really nice uh, little electric grill. Uh, she's grilled before with the uh, the coconut shell charcoal they got here, whatever, however they make this charcoal, and it is cheap and all that. But it's just it's just such a mess and everything. If she's going to grill something in the morning, we don't need to be starting up no uh, charcoal grill. Uh, just go ahead and fire up a little electric one. After we move, I'm thinking of getting a propane barbecue grill anyway, because uh, I always did like to barbecue. But also we went for a walk. We, we took a, it was over an hour, took the kids. Uh, kids came home, <laughs> went inside, we wore them out. They crashed, but she did really good uh, on a long walk. Uh, we walked pretty, pretty quickly, walked all up and zigzagged up and down the neighborhood. The only thing bad about the, the walking around here is all these stinking barking dogs. Uh, you know, I just never, uh, never in my life seen a, a neighborhood where there's just so many of these dang dogs and it's not like they don't know me we've been here it's been what a year and a half already and i walk daily and these same stinking dogs just bark so you know and, and it just really sucks but uh, we did we did a nice long walk uh, it's it's saturday night though and that's you know, there's people out partying. Hey, come on, hey, come and drink with it. No, hey, I'm out walking with my family. I, I don't even know why they would even ask. How silly! I don't know. I don't know them. So, but uh, so we kept moving. We we kept moving, and it was a good walk. You know, kids kids had a blast. Uh, they were just yakking away. Mumu, he likes to talk about everything. So that it was a it was a good walk, and I'm glad she's walking. I hope I can get her to start uh, with me in the morning. Uh, Maddie, when when we got up early in the morning, he went for a big hike with me in the morning. Uh, he's been he's been my little early riser. Uh, one morning, Mumu got up. It's always fun to uh, take the kids. You know, I take the little ones with me, and uh, both of them in the morning when I'm walking. If it's if it's just um, Maddie and me or Gerano Mo and me, uh, I'll cook right along, and they don't complain. Uh, the only time they complain about wanting to be carried is when their mom's along. I don't know why that is, but that seems to be what happens. But, but uh, it was a beautiful day today. We had we had rain on and off. Uh, nothing nothing uh, big though. Just more like a light summer rain. But uh, we're doing okay. Uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, hard thing under control. She goes back on Tuesday, and uh, I'll see if I can get. To on the, on the thumbnail, I'll put what those pills are and if anybody's got any info. I want to take her down to, uh, we're going to go see the, the doctor she went to again. And then I would like to take her down to see Dr. Mina. She's, I think she's going to get another EKG on, on there. But I'd like to have an echo done and let's, let's see if, if there's any big clogs or anything. Because we can straighten a lot of that out with diet. Uh, you know, I remember an uncle that had it really bad. and. And uh, his diet went straight to, straight to veggies and stuff. He still ate a little tiny bit of chicken and meat. He liked meat, but uh, it, he cleared up. Cleared up and lived, lived a pretty ripe old age. So it can be done. And uh, I've always said diet. You know, me, I, I go ahead and I switch my diet since I had my problems. I've had, uh, back in the 90s, I had a stomach ulcer. Right when they were finding out it was... Uh, it was a uh, bacteria, E. pylori, or whatever they call it. But I think that's what messed up my intestines, because uh, me, uh, I'll get I'll get these worst, terrible stomach aches, and then if I, <laughs> it's funny, but if I fart or just go poo, uh, I'm immediately better. So it's just pressure builds up in there. Uh, I think it's from antibiotics I had to take. I know I came back from the Philippines here one time. It was 94 or something, and I caught the amoeba and it had my right leg so blowed up it wasn't funny i mean it was you, you could just see the tips of my toes that's how big my ankle had swollen and uh when i first got back to the states uh the, the first 
place I went to, the doctor wanted to cut my leg off. I'm not kidding, he wanted to cut my leg off. And then uh, my sister picked me up and she took me over to her hospital and they had an Australian guy. And he knew exactly what it was. He said, hey, you got yourself a bug, mate. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he goes, you been out of country? And I said, yeah, I was in the Philippines. He said, oh, okay, and they put me on that uh, Cipro and they put me on it for 30 days. Uh, which definitely the leg went down right away, but then when they checked my blood, it was still still in there, so they had to give me another dose of Cipro and something else. I can't remember what the other the other one was, uh, but I think that's what damaged my uh, gut, and I don't think there's much I can do about it. I try to I try to uh, eat right. There are certain things I do, though, that will give me a stomach ache. I think the carbonated stuff, like I, I do like to drink beer, but I'm starting to think that, that that's causing me some problems, giving me some gut pain and stuff. Uh, you know, so that's, that would suck. But maybe my beer drinking days are over. I don't know. But it seems I pay for it now. But That's the way she goes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. My little babies are all sleeping. Uh, Mama's in there just resting on the couch, so I'm going to go in there and maybe we'll watch a TV show or something. So you all take care. Don't forget to pray for each other, and uh, God bless. Good job.